Hello, morning class. Welcome back. Are you ready to do some kindergarten reading? Get your reading finger ready. Let's look at the front cover and let's read the title together. Ready? I pick up. What does that mean, picking up? That's right. It means cleaning things, putting things back where they belong. In our classroom, when you heard this sound, do you remember that? We would stop and we would clean up or pick up, put things back where they belong. Okay, let's look at the front cover. Hmm, I see a picture. I see a little boy and he's looking at his parent. I wonder what's happening here. What do you predict this book will be about? We know the title, I pick up and I see a child and their parent. Hmm. Let's read together. Okay, here's our first reading page. Always look at the illustration first. Look at the picture. I see a little boy. Looks like he might be in his bedroom. Let's read the sentence. Ready? Reading fingers up. I pick up my ball. I pick up my ball. I see two boom words in there that are new, sort of new. We've got my, M-Y, and we've got up. U P. These words have sort of the same shape. Do you see how they both have a letter at the end that goes down? My has a Y that goes down and up has a P that goes down. Say my, say up. Good job. All right, next page. Let's look at our illustration. It's changed a little bit. The boy looks like he's in the same place, but what's he doing now? Is he picking up? Let's see. Let's read the words together. I pick up my book. He did. He just picked up his book. I wonder where he's going to put it. Hmm. All right. Now let's look at this illustration and I want you to predict what these words say down here. Look at the little boy. Look at his hands. Do you see him reaching for something? He's reaching for a SH thing, a SH thing. Can you tell? Is it a shoe? Let's read the words to find out. I pick up my shoes. Was a shoe. Hmm. Next page. Use your prediction. Remember, when you're predicting, you're taking a guess about what you think is going to happen in the future or next. If I look at this illustration, I look at the boy's eyes. Do you see how they're looking up? And what's he looking up at? Is that a hat? Let's read the words. I pick up my hat. There's the word up. Do you see it? And there's the word my. Those are two boom words. My and up. Next page. Oh, look, what's the little boy holding? Is it a teddy bear? Let's read the words. I pick up my teddy bear. Do you see how the sentence went to two lines? Remember, if we're writing a sentence and we get to the end of the line and we run out of room, we go to the next line. Do you remember that? Okay, next page. Is he picking up something? Let's read the words. I pick up my cars. Yes, he's still cleaning his room. He's doing a good job, isn't he? Last reading, oops, last reading page. 
I pick up my blanket. And there he is, folding his blanket and putting it where it belongs. Oops, Miss Alara said last page. Sorry. Here's the last page. Now look at the illustration. What do you see? What do you see, guys? I see the little boy. I see his parent. They're both smiling. Why are they happy? Let's find out. The sentence says, My room is all picked up. And do you see the exclamation mark at the end? That's why they're all so happy. The little boy cleaned up his room. Well, guess what, guys? You know, Mother's Day is coming up on Sunday. That's when we remember our moms and we're so happy and we love them and appreciate all the nice things they do for you. Maybe you could clean up your room like this little boy did for Mother's Day. That would probably make mommy very, very happy. All right, say these two boom words one more time. Say my, say up. Good job, friends. Good job. All right. Remember yesterday we said some numbers and we practiced saying them quickly. Let's practice saying some more numbers. These are bigger numbers. Ready? What number is it, friends? Whoops, where is Miss Hilaire's holding it? There we go. Say 13. That's a big number. Let's do another one. What's this one? You see it? 17. Let's do another one. Ooh, this one has a tummy on top. Tummy on top. Number nine. That's right. How about this one? Number 10. And this one. 14. That's right. There's the 14. I think we have time to do one more. What number is it, friends? Got a one and a two together. If you said 12, you were right. Good job, good job. All right, we're gonna do one more video today. We're gonna see what happened with that scale. And we're gonna read about a fish that pouts. So come back. <laughs>